We were told that we would see America come and go. And in a sense, America is dying from within because they forgot the instructions on how to live on Earth. Hey guys, how's it going? So, I think most truth seekers understand how the controllers create dualism and divide us in any way they can and they divide issues any way they can into black and white scenarios. We see this in politics, religion, education, race, gender, social status, so on and so forth. And the first issue I want to discuss is the fact that we have allowed the controllers to separate us into generations with the largest gap obviously between the young and the elderly. This generational divide is a powerful weapon that they use to attack us on several fronts. First, it neutralizes our most valuable intellectual assets, the elders and the wisdom that they carry. So instead of consulting with our most experienced and hopefully wise members of society, the controllers teach us to mock them to disregard them and eventually willingly ship them off to concentration camps known as retirement homes or nursing homes. Basically a place to go when you are old and irrelevant in so-called modern society. I can't begin to describe what a powerful weapon this is. A similar strategy is depicted in the art of war which is to drive a wedge between the enemy's front and rear to prevent cooperation between large and small divisions and hinder good troops from helping the not so skilled and to prevent officers from rallying their men. Just replace front and rear divisions with young and old generations and it's the same effect, the same result. The casualties of this tactic of war are greater than we can imagine. By severing the link between generations, we are lost in a sea of fake history where we receive incomplete or outright false information, causing us to wander around aimlessly from distraction to distraction, never managing to find our way to a balanced existence. By alienating those who we should respect the most, we are destroying the family and society at large thereby tightening the chains of our own enslavement. The second issue involves fake history, which is particularly relevant in light of the current power grab in communications under the excuse of so-called fake news. I was really annoyed the other day when I watched the movie called The Big Short, which was about the 2007-2008 financial crisis and housing bubble. I was shocked at how they basically portrayed the movie as a semi-documentary and there was a lot of truth in the movie, but the main purpose of this movie was to confuse those who are not very familiar with the world of finance and negotiable securities. In a slick, authoritative and quasi-documentary style, The Big Short indoctrinates viewers with a fairy tale drama of a few good guy investors and hedge fund managers versus bad guy banks and ridiculous bad guy low-level mortgage brokers. Ugh, it was painful to watch. Basically, it subconsciously indoctrinates viewers with the exact opposite narrative than what actually happened. Again, there was a lot of truth disclosed in the movie, but its main purpose and resulting effect was to write history for those unfamiliar with the industry or too lazy or naive to know any better. It's sort of like what NASA does, but I guess it goes hand in hand with everything else as society has become so trained that it will believe the mainstream regardless of how outlandish or obvious things are. And movies are tricky because they don't claim to be teaching history or facts Yet subconsciously they implant a version of how things were at a given place and time. 
and they do this through sounds and images processed by our conscious and subconscious minds. I don't want to get too deep into the specifics of the social engineering that has been taking place, but just to give you an idea, in 2017 we have a small window of almost 100 years of sound in movies, which, if properly studied, allows us to clearly see the scope of the change in social behavior, and if studied analytically, using logic and reason, leads to shocking realizations of just how much we have been trained, bred, brainwashed, changed, whatever you want to call it, we are truly living in a fiction that is not necessarily natural. It is time to open our eyes and notice the chains we wear and the puppet strings we dance with. I knew that this was one of their main reasons for separating the generations, because once you break the bond between generations, there is no longer an authentic flow of first-hand information, and therefore the controllers can indoctrinate new generations with all kinds of ridiculous and fantastic stories. If you maintain the link between generations, this chain of communication will go back hundreds and hundreds, if not a thousand years. Unfortunately, with the onset of the industrial age, and especially with electricity and the invention of pop culture, which is just another propaganda tool, this chain was severed and continues to be broken even between parents and their children. This attack is obvious, yet no one sees it. The older generations are ridiculed because the music changes every generation, clothing and styles change, vocabulary and language change, cultural practices change, what is taboo and what is accepted change, the list just goes on and on. We have been socially engineered, and it's time to wake up, speak out, and stop graciously consenting to the brainwashing. Some of my fondest memories are of my grandmother on my dad's side and my great-grandmother on my mom's side. My great-grandmother lived with us for a short while, and she used to tell me stories about horses and buggies and a time when a panther jumped in front of their carriage. She was pretty funny. She used to swing her crutch at us, too, but um, when we were running around. But I felt like I was experiencing history firsthand. My point is that no one seems to understand the damage that has been done to society from this attack and separation of man into mutually unintelligible generations. Our lifeline has been severed. Our line of communication with the past has been severed. Think of it as cutting down a once beautiful tree. I don't think we can ever restore our history beyond 100 or 200 years ago. Our historical tree of life has been destroyed, and we're left with a few branches and twigs of what this tree might have looked like in its glory. Unfortunately, once it's cut down, it can't be repaired. It can't be brought back, and the controllers of this world use this fact to construct a false picture of what the tree looked like, of what they claim the tree looked like. And without the generational link, most people believe the Santa Claus history that we are fed from the controllers, through NASA, through government. So, moving forward, the only thing we can do is plant a new tree and protect it from those who are always trying to cut it down and enslave us. If we have any hope of restoring a balanced society and existence, and any semblance of a true and reliable historical record, we must wake up, reestablish the bonds between generations, and protect our collective tree of life from future attacks. In other words, we need to respect, listen to, and care for our elders, in my humble opinion anyway. I guess this video is more of a rant, but thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you all have a good day. Adios. If you're not spiritually connected to the earth and understand the spiritual reality of how to live on earth, it's likely you will not make it.
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned, and we'll see you back next time.